Hello, my friends, and welcome to Unending Galaxy. Now, this is a game uh, made by an X uh, fan, you know, X3. Let's not talk about the other one. Um, he wanted to make a game, I believe, that was more to what he wanted out of the next game. Uh, so he started creating this, and right now we are on version 0 0.9.8.5, beta 5. This just came out, I think, within the last week or so as I record this. And so I thought I would try a game or two out in front of y'all to uh, show you what it's like. Now, I'm going to be honest, I recorded a video of this back in uh, March, I believe, but I didn't really know what I was doing, I didn't really read the manual much, so it was a terrible video and I never released it. So apologies for not getting to this one earlier, but I kind of did and didn't like what I had done, so I, I wasn't happy. <laughs> with with myself for a while about that. But I decided to jump back in since this new beta has been released. I read the manual. I've played the game a few times on my own just to get a feel for it. Uh, so I feel like I'm in a better place. This is, this is a pretty complex game and there are a lot of different ways to play it. So um, we're going to start a new game. Uh, and in this early game you only have a few maps but don't let that... Uh, don't let that get you down because these are really big now. Um, sometimes you don't want to see the map, and sometimes you do. So in this map, you can see there are a lot of different sectors. Each of these little squares is a sector. In each of these sectors, a lot of these sectors can be controlled by a faction or an empire. You can be an empire or become an empire in this game. Uh, you can start with one ship and build up your fleet and build up an empire. You can start with an empire, which I'll show you in a minute. But we're going to stick with this map for now since it's pretty big, pretty uh, expansive, and there's a lot to do here. Uh, now, there are several different ways you can start the game. You can start off as an explorer, which uh, which basically gives you one scout with a little amount of resources and you're supposed to explore the universe. Uh, here you're a deserter but you escaped with a fleet and some credits and everyone is on your ass. Um, so they will be coming to find you. But uh, you start with quite a bit of money and ships. So this is your militaristic scenario. You can start as an empire you're a leader of an AI core splinter group. They're like the main bad guys, and there are lots of different races and bad guys and f factions in this game. You have a whole solar system under your control and enough resources to start expanding right away, which means you can send other ships to build stations in other sectors, uh, you know, and expand your empire. This is, uh, this is an interesting scenario which I tried once a long time ago and was terrible at, but I might try again for this. Uh, the Lost Fleet, which is also a great book series by the way. Um, you entered the galaxy through an unstable wormhole, you're no way back, no way back to your own world, so you have to make a place of your own. So you start off in a random sector with a bunch of money and you can start building um, capital like bases and stuff, uh, start making you know, a foothold in the galaxy. Uh, this is your builder scenario. You're a new entrepreneur. You start with a dock builder and some cargo ships and a lot of money. No bounty. Pilot. You know, so that's a builder scenario. This is the scenario the game wants you to start with. Just a neutral trader with a good cargo ship escorted by a fighter. Good relations with almost everyone. You know. So in all of these, it looks like you're a pilot. Oh no, you're an empire in that one. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Here's a here's a here's a uh, another trader, but this time instead of one cargo ship and one fighter, you get two cargo ships, a frigate, and a fighter. So this is this one's a little more interesting to manage. Uh, if you want to be a pirate captain, you can start here as a pirate. You have a man of war battleship. Uh, not a, not a ton of credits, but a big old bounty on your head, as you can see. So if you want to be a pirate, you can jump right in. Or if you want to be a pirate, if you just want to be a smaller pirate, you want to be a guild, 
you want to be a member of a guild, you've got, you know, a ship with a couple of fighters, and there's no bounty on your head yet, you don't have a lot of money, but, you know, that'll change as you start writing stuff. Or if you want to be a mercenary collecting bounties. If you want to be a bounty hunter, you could do that too. This one is kind of hard because I've tried this one. So we're going to start off with the default scenario for now. Just to show you what this is like. So as you can see, here's my ship. This is me. And here's my little fighter, my little swordfish, who has been directed to escort me. Um, so there's a lot of things going on here. You're in a sector. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going around this sector. This is you, these little green stuff right here. Um, but as you can see, this sector's got a base, a military base, a shipyard, a power plant. Kind of exy, ex exy in the way that there's, you know, factories that make specific things like ale, ship parts, computer plants. There's a trading station down there where you can get missions. You can also get missions at the training base, at the military base. Um, so here's the game map, as you as we were talking about earlier. Um, this is one sector, and these little these little dots, these little icons, mean that like there's a uh, military base and there's a trading station. So these little icons denote what's in this sector. And the color of the sector denotes who owns it. So this is kind of a solar system here going around the sun. This is also kind of a solar system here. And this is a solar system. As you can see, this empire, the Sirac Empire owns all this. The Human Federation is over here. They own all this. You have uh, new Neo as the Neo as Q, PQR. Those are a bunch of Romans. The Drath Collective is all down here. Independent Sector Alliance, the Nilth Republic owns all this, and then you have pirates and you know some more independent folks, and I guess pirates. <laughs> so it's a this this particular map, and again each map can be different. Each game can take place in a different map is different. Now, you can also hit tab to get a quick look at the sector. You can also hit this to get like a list of what's going on in the sector. You know, you can see that there's a, settle, a military base settlement here with a bunch of manpower, you know, stuff like that. So this is probably your most important screen, your empire screen. Here you see how much uh, money your empire has, how many ship parts. Uh, you see, I have two ships right now. What are you doing? What did you just do? You just shot someone. Yeah, ships just go and do their own thing. So right now, I am controlling this one. And the AI is controlling the swordfish here. So these are our only two ships. We have no missions. We are neutral with just about everyone except the AI core is the big uh the big baddie. Big baddie in the game, so we're neutral with everyone else. Uh right now this is where news will be happening. This is where important events to your empire will be happening. Uh you can see statistics to mil uh different parts, you know, you can see statistics for other empires and so on and so forth. You can also bookmark stuff. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take control, and you can take control of any ship that you own. I'm going to take control of the swordfish. So now I'm flying the swordfish. Swordfish is a fighter. It's got a laser gun and missiles, just in case anyone tries to start something. So interestingly enough, you can fly near any target and interact with it in a variety of ways. Like, I could trade with this base. I could buy and sell stuff if I wanted to. Or, I could see what missions they have. And you'll see that there's missions to uh, destroy a pirate base, do supply runs, that sort of thing. But we're going to start simple. So what we can do is, now that we have control of this AI, of this AI ship, we can give it commands. We can set it to automate. You see it's an automated ship. 
so we could tell it to do specific roles like hunt down bounties, uh, raid pirates, uh, be part of a military fleet. My go mine asteroids. Go get uh, go like, like this guy's doing. So you can tell ships to do different things. We are going to tell this guy to be a free trader. So the free trader is on his own going to buy and sell stuff. And we are going to escort him. What is that? Military behemoth. So there's no real uh, warp gates or anything from to fly, excuse me, to fly from one sector to the next. You just go from one, you just fly from one sector to the next. But if you do have a jump drive, you can also jump there. See, I can jump to any of these sectors if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. Uh, right now. But I could if I wanted to. The only downside is so far if you jump, uh, your escorts don't. So they, um, at least so far, like the only escorts I've had are fighters. And um, what is that? It's a Helios builder, apparently. What are you doing? Oh, I guess he just jumped. Oh! I just totally missed that my ship left and came back. Now you'll see it says Player Challenger because I forgot. I keep doing this to change the name of my empire. So right now I am a player. <laughs> and this is the player swordfish. That's my ship. So there's my challenger. So I'm going to escort him and we're going to see where he goes. We're about to fly to another sector. C, and then he's going to fly probably to that base and sell cargo and be able to see uh, right, see right now our money has gone up a little bit because our ship is doing some trading so we could do this for a while if we wanted to build up some money there he goes Hey, come back here. Hey, come back here. So yeah, that's the downside of it, to AI right now is it just kind of goes where it wants. <laughs> so yeah, it, interestingly enough, I could have stayed in that other ship and figured out my own uh, trade route if I wanted to, but I decided to let the AI handle it because I'm not I'm not the best with trade, really not the best with trade what is that? oh he's building something oh yeah you can communicate with just about any ship as long as they're not actually even if they're hostile to you you can still kind of communicate with them so as you can see I communicated with them but I could also scan them if I wanted to. So that's that. So this this uh, this is like context sensitive based on what you have targeted. It's pretty nifty. Is my oh there he goes. I think this ship can jump, and it's just deciding not to. I think it's just staying. It's like doing the closest trade runs it could find. What is that? It's a crystal mine. So I could see that our tra our challenger is in the hangar. I don't know what he's buying or selling. But I can probably take a look once he leaves. I can probably scan him and see what his cargo is. Oh, there he goes. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I have no idea where he just went. <laughs> okay. Where did he go? Where did he go? Hang on. Okay, I can't see him at all. I don't know where he went. 
no idea where he went. He's got energy cells to sell. Huh! <laughs> so, uh, where are you, man? Yeah, see, if there, if I knew where he was, I could see on the map, but I can't. There he is. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Okay. Let's hope he's still there when the time I get there. <laughs> Where are you? Great. Oh, now you're back here? Oh, god damn it. Fine. ships. Oh, great. Okay, hang on. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, it doesn't seem as if there's any uh, collisions in this game as far as I could tell. ship. <laughs> I don't know where he is. I lost him. <laughs> so I guess he will jump. Okay. So <laughs> I've, I have no idea where he went. I have no idea. And the neat thing about this mode, uh, this map here, this sector map, is if you have uh, automated ships, you could also control them like I could, you know, select it and then click on the trading station, for example. So we're going to go to the military base. Yeah. And I know there's a place where you can see bounties. But hang on, I can't remember where that is. Uh, let me look that up. Real quick. Yeah, I don't know where my ship got to. No idea. He's just doing his thing. Manual is actually a wiki. There we go. Oh, I see. I was looking in the wrong place. I see. I see. So if a place has bounties on anyone, you have to go to a shipyard to do it. I see. That's interesting. Let's go to the shipyard. There we go. Interesting. Did I just target that guy? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, interesting. Lots.
lots of bounties. So we're gonna try. Now that I've totally lost my ship. Well, aren't you busy? Aren't you a busy bee? But wow, you have more than doubled the worth of our empire, our small little band, in uh, about 20 minutes. That's pretty cool. So now let us look at another way to play the game. And let's keep this map. We're going to try the mercenary now that I know where to find pirates. Uh, oh, this already said faction names filled in. Okay. So now I'll show you some of this stuff. Now here's my ship. But as you can see, I also have three fighters. Pretty cool, huh? So now let's find the ship shipyard, because that's where the bounties are. There you are, down there. We're going to target the shipyard and find some bounties. Yes, there we go. Now, where the hell are we? Hang on. We are 29.7. We are in 29.7. So. Ah, 36.6. I like it. So, we want to go. I'm going to go there. Oh, it's nice. It's already highlighted. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we got to fly. Got to fly to there. Now, if I jump, my fighters will not jump. They'll just kind of try and follow me. So I'm not going to jump, but we're going to, you know, fly that way. Right? Right. All right, let's make sure. All right, what? Hang on. 30, oh. Where the hell are we? God damn it, I keep forgetting where we are. 29.7. Right. Oh, 26.4. Oh, wow, how do I get over there? Twenty six four. Yeah, it's a little complicated. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, twenty six four. Not far from us. Oh. Interesting. I don't see a 26.4. Well, am I reading this wrong? God damn it. <laughs> 26.4. 
Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to fly in that direction. Let's go, guys. So, yep. It's a trading station. We can't fly there. It's not letting us. That's annoying. So how am I supposed to target these guys then? Whoops. So I just gave all these guys an order to that do this. You know, to move and then they're going to protect me, which is this ship right here. But I wonder if I could do this. Yep, I can. I just gave them an order to attack me, which is hilarious. Really? Oh, looks like they're attacking each other now. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, well, see, I read about the bounty stuff, and then I kind of forgot about it, and now I'm not really. Uh, and I read it. I read it. I got the manual right here, even. And oh, uh, this is very frustrating. This is very frustrating. Where am I? <laughs> I don't even know where I am in the map now. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, we're going to try another game mode, because that's stuck. Stunk. So I want to try... No, god damn it. Uh, <laughs> see, maybe this is why I didn't like the video last time, because I'm all over the place. Uh, I wanted to try this one. Up. Okie dokie. Alright. So now, we have a fleet. And I am flying. Let's see, what's, what's our empire look like? Okay. Looks like I'm this guy, the Mastiff. We have a couple other ones because everyone. Transport frigate, dock builder, battleship. So when you have a dock builder, you can tell them to build stuff like a shipyard or a military base or a trading station. They're two apparently two different. I mean, I have no funds. I got funds. I got plenty of funds. Oh, that's that's an order to collect hull stuff right there, and that is a, that is a button to uh, head back to the nearest repair place. That's a build button. Of course, I can build it. What are you talking about? I have no funds. Jeez. What's your automation? None of those work. Okay. That's a that is a dock builder. I 
I want you to build something for me. I don't have enough funds. I've got the funds. Alright, hang on. Whoops! Well, the game just gave me some kind of weird error, but it didn't crash. Interesting. Okay, so. Hang on. I want. I want you. Come here, you. So, Soul Terrier, come here. And then frigate. And frigate. Yes. I want you to go here. I want you to escort that guy. Okay. So now this little frigate here, which looks like a fighter really, which is funny, is going to escort this guy. And I'm going to tell this guy to be a free trader. Go. I'm going to do the same for the other guy. All right. So now this guy is protecting the terrier. And I'm going to tell the terrier to be a free trader. And now we need to make a home base. Oh, damn it. So now the. Yeah, those ships right on. I guess they no, don't have anyone to trade with at the moment. Or do they? Oh, maybe. There are other bases over there. Uh, no. Stop it. Stop it! You know, I'm trying to get out of this map mode here. Anyway. Uh, so I need you. What do you mean I don't? Okay, that's very confusing. Fine, we'll select the other one. I totally have funds. Okay, I think I for I think I forgot something. Right. This is what I forgot. I have to actually transfer money out of my coffers. Jeez. Okay. Now we can build stuff. So you build a trading station. Yeah, take over this system. Building, ah, uh, here we go. Where are you? What are you doing? Up, oh, so that one's building a station. Good. Now, we're going to have you come over here a little bit. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, um. So we're going to have you build a military base. Oh, you need some more funds. Okay. Oh, man. All right. 
Now let's see if you can build a military base. Yes, you can. I like this design better. No, wait. I, I just sent you the money. At least I thought I did. There we go, you moron. <laughs> you build a military. You know, I just... I swear to God, I did. Oh. Fine. There we go. That's kooky. That's kooky. But okay. That's sure. There we go. Do it. Build the Gantt. Build the damn. Okay, so now we have a trading station and we are about to build. a military base. Very nice. Once I figure out how to frickin' do it. So we have our trading station over there. Oh, I'm trying to zoom in. I'm trying to frickin' zoom in. and I Oh, wow, that's neat. What are you guys? Are you building the thing? Oh, there it is. Cool. And we still have one more base to build. Uh, shipyard. Uh, we need a million credits, which we don't, which we do not have. Uh, yeah, we do not have that much. Oh, I need money left for trading. Uh, interesting. There's lots of automation you could do here. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm gonna make everything. All right. So that's cool. So now we have our military base, and we have our trading station. And apparently. The AI has sent this guy off to build another base, it looks like. Oh, I see my problem. Hang on a second. <laughs> Duh. This is so kooky. Uh, there we go. I had to refocus the camera back on my ship. Where am I? Where the, f where the, where the hell did I go? Why did I fly here? I didn't do that. God damn it. Uh, come here, guys. I'm flying back to our sector. Now, what are our other ships doing? They're idling. Interesting. They're building factories. Oh. So they're building factories. Interesting. So they're going to build factories to sell goods. Let's take a look. What are they doing? Really? So we built a chip factory. 
Okay. Sure. Okay. No production. Okay. Then I guess you'll start producing. Right? Huh. All right. Military strength is pitiful. Oh, God. But we have two sectors under our control. 70 sh 76 ships? Where are 76? I don't see 76. Guess there's nothing for our free traders to do yet. It's fine. So now we're building factories in the nebula? Interesting. Okay. Sure, why not? Was that? What was that? Hey, look, there's a guy coming to sell our stuff. There's a telling to buy our stuff. Did someone just attack one of our? Cool. Other people are going to be... Whoa, what is this? Built a power plant, huh? Cool. Alright, so we have a little empire going. Tiny little empire. Who is that? Scavenger Enforcer. Yeah, there were some shots fired earlier, but now I don't see them. Yeah, there's, there's some oddities going on here. Like, I want to try and zoom in on my ships, but I cannot. Oh, good. Look, our traders are actually going now and doing stuff. So do we have some more money? Oh, hey. Excuse me. Did someone just come in here and shoot our shit? I think someone just came in here and shoot our sh shat our shit, you guys. Cool. So these guys are doing their thing. Oh, and look, they're producing. Two buyers. Interesting. That's pretty awesome. Huh, our, our own our own station is putting out a. Uh... Whoa! Where'd all that stuff come from? I'm guessing those are the uh, garrison for the military base. That's pretty cool. Yeah, all right. They're producing energy cells. The dock builder. Those are idling. Yeah. 40 energy cells. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
So right now, what I would be doing, if I could see my ship, there she is, is, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. What was that? Oh. I'm guessing someone was here collecting a bounty. And as you can see, the AI does stay pretty busy. Whoa, hey! Not as friendly a universe as we were led to believe. Okay, I gave all these ships. All right. fuck with us? We're gonna fuck with you. I wish I could see. That's right. Oh, we're getting some, we're getting some guff in here, guys. Follow me. You are next. Wait a minute, did you just destroy one of my factories? Wait. Wait a minute, where's the trading station? Where's the mil wait, where's the military base? Okay, right there, I couldn't see it. Whew. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's that was unexpected. Someone doesn't like us building here, apparently. Um, so we're gonna have to do a little more protecting. That's fine. Uh, oh, hey, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Gotta get that guy, gotta get that guy. All right. Bounty on soul patrol. Oh, boy, we got bounties. away from everything. Jeez. I wish I could zoom in right now. This might be a bug or something. Oh, good. I keep jumping in.
Jeez. Zoom in. Oh god, page up, page up. Jeez. There we go. Okay, you guys go repair. No ships need repairs. Handy. You come back here. How are my other ships doing? Oh boy, did we lose? Ooh, we might have lost the, uh... Oh boy, we might have lost the, uh, those free traders. I did not expect that. Oh, I'm running out of money. Well, at least our factories are still... Wait, did we lose a factory? Oh, I think we lost a factory. Oh, there we go, there you are. Well, where's your escort? Man. At least you're still doing your thing. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that was a little unexpected. I really w the The zooming in this game is really strange. Anyway, so, yeah, that's, that's almost an hour. Oh, my gosh, of Unending Galaxy. I did not mean to record an hour. That's a good sign, though. And I was having a good time and lot, totally lost track of time. Because it did. That's exactly what happened. So, uh, yeah, this game, you can get it, I believe, on uh, itch.io and Indie Game Stand right now for five or six bucks right now. Uh, it's in Again, it's in early access. But if you're the type of person who doesn't mind not being in a ship's cockpit, but still wants to manage a business. Whoa! Damn! Damn. Wait, is that us? Yeah, we're all wanted. <laughs> wow, yeah, okay, I have to select individual ships and pay their bounties. Huh, it's funny. So yeah, it's just there's it's a little convoluted and and there's a lot to it and I re like I said I read the manual and I played it a few times and I'm still kind of scratching I'm literally scratching my head uh trying to figure out some some things here or there but here's the thing it's still fascinating. So I'm probably going to be playing more. I'll probably do another preview video of this unless uh once this comes out soon, then I'll start a Let's Play. But thank you guys for watching. Check this game out. It's called Unending Galaxy. Uh, see you later.